that's that's one 20 year old. How mm-hmm. about the other 20 year old rookie in Memphis? First of all, Ooh. the Grizzlies are currently Ooh. in a playoff spot. Yeah. I know we're only halfway through the season. That's halfway. No to, they've won they play, six straight Chris, games. Stop saying that, Chris. Take that out your vocabulary. You had to play the games. They've won six straight. They're a must watch team. No question. Are they a playoff team as well this year, 3D? Uh, as the fourth quarter the other night, the way they handled the Houston Rockets, and obviously to Sam's point, they're an ISO team and less dribbles, less passes. When you play against better teams that have better movement, we'll see if your defense can hold up like you showed me the other night in the fourth quarter. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the only thing that concerns me with this young team. Offensively, the ball is hopping. They share. They're so unselfish. But sometimes that defense in the fourth quarter, Sam, they give up easy layups. They give up wide open shots. They miscommunicate on one of their rotations. If they can sure that up, they should be able to fight for that eighth spot. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say yes from this standpoint. Right now, they're in the playoffs. I mean, for us to sit here and talk about the teams that are nine and below, it's ridiculous. Right now, the yeah. Memphis Grizzlies are a playoff team. Now, the question is, can they hold on to it? Can they That's move the up? Can they solidify that spot? Look, time is going to tell, but one thing that's dangerous about this Memphis team right now, they're young and they're playing with a lot of confidence. Mm-hmm. And they don't know that they're supposed to be playing this good this early in the Western Conference. Mm-hmm. They didn't get the memo. They didn't listen to all this talk, us so-called experts up yeah. saying that they're still two years away. Look, mm-hmm. confidence is a funny thing. If you got a lot of it, it just permeates throughout your team. And right now, this basketball team is playing with a lot of confidence. And this young man, Ja Morant, yeah. is leading that. So do I think they can sustain it to 3D point? Yeah, but they're going to have to start tightening up some defense and tighten up some things. And it's going to get tougher after the All-Star break. But right now, they are a NBA playoff team. And as hard as they play and as competitive as they are, it's going to be hard for someone just to knock them off. And Chris and Sam, what I enjoy up close is they have the mixture of, yes, they shoot their amount of threes, and, and Coach Jenkins has given them the freedom to play and get out and flourish. But when in doubt, they miss four or five jump shots. Hey, Valanchunas, there you go. turn five, get your big there butt you down go. low, and we're going to throw it to you. We need a basket. As soon as he scored three quick baskets, he got double teamed, and they got wide open shots. So Coach Jenkins has figured out a way so, okay, analytics, shoot more threes. If you're open, that second unit shoot come it. in with uh, uh, Grayson Allen and all those guys, they're shooting a lot of threes. Dorsey, they're shooting a lot of threes. I'm like, okay, I get it. But when things slow down, that young man right there, Coach Jenkins said, you know what, analytics, I'm going to throw a little old school basketball back in here and post some guys up. So, 3D, you bring up a great point because you just mentioned uh, Taylor Jenkins. And, Sam, you've had a young team in Minnesota when you had Levine, Wiggins, and Towns. To be able to get them to produce like that, I mean, there should be some recognition in what he's accomplishing with this young group now. I mean, first of all, it's fun to coach a young team. Think about it from this standpoint. You don't have those egos that are set Mm -hmm. in NBA ways. Now, think about that. Say that again, Sam. You don't have those egos that that are set in NBA ways. Right now, when I watch Memphis, name one player during their interview who talks about my team Mm. and my guys. Mm. Who talks? None of them. So, right now, if I'm going to give Taylor Jenkins (laughs) some advice, keep it just like it is. Mm-hmm. Keep these guys thinking about we, not me, yeah. and keep reminding them this is all of our team. Yeah. It's not one guy team. And if you want to get specific, it's the owner's team, the ownership hey, group. Hey. Other than that, it's, we are all a part of this thing that we're trying to build. And it's not, I, I cringe sometimes when I hear guys talk about my guys and mm. my this and my that. You know, it's us. It's we. Yeah, you may be the best player on the team, but guess what? I, I'll tell you this. When I played high school football, we had a running back used to talk about me, me, me all the time. The coach told the offensive line, the first player of the don't game, block. don't block. By the third time they did it, he came back to the huddle and apologized <laughs> to each and everybody <laughs> on that line. Because guess what? We're like this. We yeah. need everybody. Yes. Okay. Yes. In that case, Sam, in, in case you have any problems with me, I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm apologizing you know, I'm just for. Not I just block don't for want you, no you I'm not to be an offensive you. lineman to leave me ball. hanging yeah. like just that. Pass the ball. It's okay. bad. Speaking of which, how about Ben Simmons Ooh. distributing the rock, scoring the rock? His last two games, Benji. 22 points a game, 10 rebounds a game. He needs to shoot three. Keep attacking, Benji. Score. Keep attacking, That's Benji. That's when Joel Embiid out. Nah, you don't need no threes, Benji. You're watching a warm-up presented by Ford. <laughs>